Hello everybody, this is the Ethan and Ethan Show. Um, so today, if you have noticed, there isn't going to be an intro, there's nothing really edited about this video. Here's our channel. Uh, but this is going to be a tutorial on how to um, port forward a certain port on at and on an AT&T Universe router. This is mainly for a friend of mine, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this anyways, because this took me way longer than it should have uh, a long time ago. And it... And a quick thing here, if you're if you're using a um a Wi-Fi extender in your desktop or whatever you're using to host anything, it's connected to that Wi-Fi extender, then the port forward will not work. So I'm letting you know right now. So go ahead and open up your browser, doesn't matter which one you use, type in one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two five four. Click enter. It'll bring you to a page like this. Just click Customize Firewall. Now, scroll to the bottom, all the way, and click Add a New User Defined Application. You can put whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter what you name it because there's nothing really important that you need to um, name it. So, I'll just go ahead and um, test for it. There we go. Now, um, what we do here, we type in the port that we're trying to port forward. So in my case, it would be 25565. You type it in again. And since we're doing this one first, right here, type in 86400. And now, type in your port again. again. <laughs> Blah. Now, maybe if you're hosting a Minecraft server, you can do this. This isn't. This is just kind of organization. You don't need to do that. Uh, click Add to List. Now here, you need to enter in your router access code. This can be found on the side of your AT&T Universe router, where the yellow, uh, the big yellow sticker is, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip out my phone because I've already taken a picture of the side of the router. Now the password that you saw that was already entered was for a previous router we had, but we just got a router switched out. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up my photos and take a look at it real quick. Now I would edit this part out normally, but, well, it doesn't work like that in this world. So it, it actually won't be on the yellow sticker, it'll be up on the top right corner of your router. In my case, it is a, a router and modem, but it doesn't really matter. But uh, if you have AT&T Uverse, then you probably have um, just an all-in-one. Don't worry about what I'm saying, that's not important. <laughs> just enter in that passcode you find. It'll, it'll be numbers, letters. Just kidding. It'll be a uh, num. It'll be numbers and just symbols. So now click this UDP one and do the same stuff, except for one step is different. In this box, this time you type in 600 and click Add the list. Now click back. The reason it takes so long is this is a website being hosted from a router. This is basically what this is. Now click allow individual applications and search for your device. If you don't know what your device name is, in this case I'm on a Mac. Basically you can enter in the IP of the Mac or I'm sure somewhere in the about Mac you should be able to find your host name. But I mean, it's pretty obvious if you didn't change it yourself, then it should be just someone, yeah, here you go, right here. This is my iMac. So, or you can just type in the IP address, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and select my iMac, because that's what I want to use to host something. Although I'm not actually going to host anything, because my Raspberry Pi is doing most of it. So now, click allow one more time. And now scroll through the list until you find the one that you made. And so it is all in ABC order, so I recommend putting an A at the front of everything you type in. But here we go 
test port right here. Now click add. Now this isn't going to work for me because I've already got this port added to another device. But if all goes well, you see I've already had this assigned to my Raspberry Pi because I'm hosting a Minecraft server currently. I'll have the IP in the description in case you want to join. But if it does work, it'll appear in this list right here. After you're done, click save. It'll take a minute and then it will say successful. But if you do port forward and it says you have errors and it doesn't say this because you don't have another IP port already assigned to something, then if you're on, like I said, if you're on a Wi-Fi extender, please dis please disconnect that and then try again and connect directly to your modem. If that doesn't work. Uh, then I recommend calling AT&T customer support because all Uverse routers slash modems, anything AT&T Uverse should be more than port forwardable. Now, if you have a separate router slash modem and they're not just an all-in-one, just one box basically, is what I'm gonna call it now. If it's not, if it's two boxes, oh man, this makes me cringe. This is just common knowledge stuff, but if there is two, then you have to have access to both. And I believe you have to port forward on both, but I, I'm not, I don't know that for sure because I've never had such a setup. But one of them, I, th I believe it's just the router, I'm not too sure, but this isn't the tutorial for you if you don't have an all in one AT&T verse router slash modem. So I'm just kind of mumbling on at this point. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a good